say hi guys welcome back to my mom's channel hi guys what's up it's me natalie welcome to her welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be bringing you guys along Yay. it's already five o'clock in the afternoon i did not vlog yesterday and this vlog is going up kind of late but basically i wanted to give you guys an update on arabella she's 13 months and it is crazy i feel like i just had her she's going into my room she's not listening to me right now i will be giving you guys updates on arabella for I don't even know how long but I've been doing it since she's been one and I love looking back at them and seeing each month go by and see like what the difference is um, so I'll give you guys like a little update on Arabella and what's new with her and the differences that I have noticed in her also exciting news I am starting my real estate course I've been like wanting to do this and then pushing it off but I am doing it I bought the course and I'm in the middle of like studying I have to clean my apartment because the flooring people, like the flooring company, they're coming tomorrow, which is Wednesday, to do my floors because since moving into this apartment, it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it, but the main issue is the floor. I guess before I moved in, they redid the floors and I guess put too much glue underneath the floor because it keeps coming up. I'm stepping on it, Arabella's stepping on it, and no matter how much I clean it, it still leaves like a trace. And also, I'll show you guys, in my kitchen, the floor literally separated. Right here, that's super annoying. It's been like that since moving in. And then right here, as you guys can see, that's not dirt, that's actually glue. But yeah, it's been a major headache, so I have some i had the idea of getting sticky notes and putting them on the floor because i can't be here while they do the flooring i'm going to put the sticky notes where i notice the glue is so hopefully they can fix it what else but yeah we had such a crazy weekend over the weekend we decided to go up north you want to be in the vlog <laughs> we decided to go up to north florida to see sam and say hi guys and we actually did a last minute disney trip we are now annual pass holders again and we're super we're super excited because we can go whenever we want now can you say hi hi anyway she's watching tv but um yeah we decided to go up to north florida and go on a, like a little disney trip so on saturday me sam and arabella did a last minute animal kingdom trip so much fun i'm going to insert the little vlog here come spend a day with us at animal kingdom first thing we did was get a stroller then we went to the baby center because Sam smelled really bad and needed some deodorant. Of course, we had to get some drinks and some snacks because it was a really hot day. The lines weren't too bad today, and luckily we got to see so many animals on the safari like this giraffe. How cute are these elephants? Super close to all the animals. Next up, Gorilla Falls. I could personally spend all day here. And the baby gorilla was out. Then jumped on the train to go pet some animals. Arabella is waving to everyone, as always, and I'm pretty sure this was one of her favorite things we did. We got to pet so many animals, including this one goat right there, and we saw some pigs fighting, which was kind of scary. We headed inside for her to run around. Got some more frozen drinks because it was so hot. Of course, we had to ride a dinosaur. She was a little bit scared. We said hi to Kevin. Went straight to It's Tough to Be a Bug. It was really cool to see all the animals carved into the tree, but we turned back because we didn't realize it was a movie. We heard some music and had to do a little dance. As you can see, Arabella was not feeling it. And that was our day at Animal Kingdom. And then Sunday we met up with a friend and we went to Magic Kingdom. Did you have fun in Magic Kingdom? Uh, hey. Tell them who you saw. You saw who? Moana. Moana is one of her favorite Disney princesses and she was so excited when she saw her in the parade But yeah, we did a last minute trip and then I'll also insert the vlog from Sunday right here Spend the day with us at Disney World First stop was the the Grand Floridian. We love walking through and checking out all the new flowers Arabella is obsessed with these steps. Also these flowers smell so good then we hopped onto the monorail to head to Magic Kingdom. My friend came with us. We really didn't have a plan walking in, but this is the best spot for photos. Then a parade started. Arabello realized Mickey was on stage and fell in love instantly. Then we got hungry and headed for a snack. Mickey, pretzels, and slushies are a go-to. We jumped onto Buzz Lightyear. Not a long wait. 
headed over to the aerial ride. I swear it was like 100 degrees today. Whenever I get on this ride, I think, how is all of this in one building? I can't wrap my head around it. Then I told Arabella we were going to meet Ariel. She did not look too happy. For some reason, she got scared of all characters this year, including the princesses, which I'm really sad about. I'm not sure what changed. Then we walked around the castle and caught the parade. Arabella could not stop waving at all the characters. Then we stopped by Cosmic Rays to get a little bit of lunch and scooted our way down to Winnie the Pooh. Arabella loves the movie Winnie the Pooh, so this is a must-do for us. I will say I love how Magic Kingdom is toddler-friendly with most of their rides. We said hi to Rapunzel in her castle. Then we went on Haunted Mansion and got this ticket to skip that room where they scream. I've never done this before and it was so cool seeing backstage. All you have to do is tell the cast member you don't feel comfortable and they will escort you to the next room. This was Arabella's first time on the ride and she was a little bit scared. This might be a one and done for us. But she did like the ghost at the end, and I thought I saw her smile at this point, but I could be seeing things. Next, we had to see Splash Mountain all closed, and I also got some nuts. At this point, we were pretty tired, so we sat on the lawn and took some pictures. We got extremely lucky and saw the parade go by. I believe this little parade was something something friends, and I know all of the rare characters were in this parade, I guess. Arabella's favorite princess is Moana, so she was so excited to see her. She's just so cute, waving at all of the characters. That was her smiling. There's our favorite Moana and some of the characters. We were really close and got really lucky. Our last ride was Pirates of the Caribbean. Arabella has been on this many times, but every single time she's on it, she falls asleep. My favorite thing in the world is seeing Arabella get so excited whenever she goes on a new ride. But after a long day, Arabella was so tired, she fell asleep on the monorail, and we were done for the day. Okay, let's do favorite word. Favorite word right now is what? Dada a lot. You say mama a lot. You know how to sign. You know three signs. We know all done, more, and water. Hmm. We're off of formula completely. We switched to almond milk. Um, she's in size 12, however, she fits into 12 to 18. It's like a little bit big, but she's like kind of fitting into it. Into it, she's swimming very good, huh? She's like swimming very, very good. It's crazy. Hmm, what else? You can say dog. You know what a dog is, right? And she's been doing her little flashcards, which are all over the floor right now. She's very scared of Disney characters, the ones with Actually, she's scared of all of them, but like not far away. So she can watch the parade fine. But like we did, we went to Crystal Palace and she was terrified of all of the characters. She went on Haunted Mansion for the first time this weekend and she loved it. She was like a little bit scared. We also went on Pirates of the Caribbean and we sat front row and she was a little bit scared, but loved it. Her favorite snack at the moment is probably Jell-O. She loves Jell-O and Hmm, what else? We made popsicles that she really, really loves. I think that's it. Her hair is getting so much longer. Do you guys see it in the back? Her favorite show right now is Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. We still love Miss Rachel, and she has like 11 teeth. She, all of her back teeth have come in. Um, it's been kind of a challenge because she constantly cries and is in pain. Um... But we've been giving her Tylenol and popsicles and anything frozen that she can eat, she has. Um, still doesn't like the car, but who does? And yeah, that's about it. I don't want to, but it's time to clean the apartment. This is really gross, but Tank pooped in his cage, so that's why he's outside. I also really need to get patio furniture for out here. Um, and probably a rug because it's just disgusting. He knows he's been a bad boy. Arabella's new thing is walking in between my legs and it makes everything so much harder. Arabella, <laughs> stop! Yeah. Stop! Come on. <laughs> also, I just realized that I did an order for Walmart and they never gave me my Starbucks coffee. So, 
that's not nice but whatever let's just do laundry right now I've also been needing to do my own bed like linens so I'm going to do that now I'm also in the process of getting a new comforter I, okay I make my bed every single day guys like I swear to you guys I make my bed every single day also I'm sorry if I'm blue right now my room it's just not having the best lighting however I have a duvet and it drives me crazy because it comes undone like all the time so I'm looking for a new this is the state of my bed <laughs> this is literally the first morning I have not made my bed I swear to you guys but let's redo my bed I think the worst part of doing laundry is definitely folding everything and then putting everything away. I literally hate it. I have a whole entire bag of stuff I need to donate. Um, I'm thinking maybe I can bring it to my mom's house and she can just donate it for me because my apartment building has a gate and I don't think that like Salvation Army or like anyone can come in without the gate code and I don't know really how that works. Anyways, let me just do my laundry. <laughs> bed is basically made well kind of i just did the sheets um, but we have to unpack and then we also have to hang up the rest of my laundry also my computer shattered so that's cool Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a refresher in Arabelle's room. I need to change her crib sheets and then also change her padding on her changing table and just kind of pick up her room because it's kind of a mess. Go over here. So let's do that. Let's restock on some diapers. Okay, Arabella's room is all cleaned up. We're not even gonna talk about that. That is always going to be a disaster, but all clean. Are you enjoying your snack? Lately, Arabella has been obsessed with these little yogurt bites, so I'm attempting to make my own. I already started it yesterday morning, or yesterday actually, but it seems a little bit liquidy now so I'm going to actually add some more strawberries and bananas frozen to make it a little thicker it still seems a little bit liquidy to me but oh well um, it says to get like a plastic baggie and then kind of just like make dots on I don't have parchment paper but I think this pan is just gonna have to work phone call but um do you want to say hi to the camera what do you want to say to everyone hi guys <coughs> so i am making the yogurt bites however i think it's going to be yogurt bark like peppermint bark but just yogurt bark just basically smash it and it will be fine okay so it looks like this i'm going to stick this in the freezer and let it freeze and then check on it in like 30 minutes it's already 603 right now um, but basically all that's in there is these frozen banana strawberries, um, Greek yogurt, and this almond milk. Fingers crossed she likes it. Like I'm praying to God she likes this. So I think now what I'm going to do is box up my big computer because obviously I can't use it with it being cracked. I need to find out if I'm either going to just throw it out or resell it fix the screen and resell or just fix the screen and still use it um i just don't know yet so for right now it's going in the box because i just don't know 
all packed up. It's so bittersweet because this computer has been with me literally like since college and high school, I think. Um, my dad bought me this computer and it's just extremely special to me and I think that's probably why, but it went with me to college, it went with me to the Orman house and then it also went with me to the apartment and now here. So I don't wanna get rid of it, but I can't use it right now. So time to put it away. Guys, should I move my room around? <laughs> Um, when I used to live with Sam, he literally hated whenever I moved the room around, so I wasn't, like, not allowed to, but, like, I just never did. And the space is just not giving, and I don't know if it's just because I don't have anything on my walls. Like, I have this huge photo. I have to get a print for. Um, I just don't know what the vibe is. I have not had a vibe in so long, and I don't know what the... Like, I have no decorations in here. Literally none. That's another thing. But I'm also trying to work to pay off my credit cards because they are really high. Um, but yeah, what I was thinking, bed-wise, I was going to move the bed right over here. Dresser. Move on to that wall. Put my desk right here. I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you think it'll look crammed? I just don't know. In the model, this is how they had it set up. Was like bed right there, desk. I don't even know if they had a desk. But I mean, I could move my desk like right there, but I feel like this would just be opened. Scratch it, I'm not doing it because they also have to do my floors tomorrow. Let's wait until they do my floors and then we can, you know, move it around. Think of new ideas. I think I have glass in my foot though. <laughs> okay, this is my sad little desk. It will get better guys, I promise. Okay, update. It's completely frozen. And I cut it and Arabella had a piece. She liked it a lot. And I also put all of these like, little marks on the floor where I've noticed that there's like something wrong with the floor but it's like extremely bad in my room. Like really, really bad. And then let me show you guys on this side. It's like right there near my hamper, underneath my desk, and then all right there. Like it literally bugs me every single day. I'm hoping, I'm praying it gets better. That is it for today's video. I am going to do the whole real estate thing in my next video, so make sure you subscribe and like this video, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.